Laura from Doggy U, and I'm a guide dog trainer instructor as well as an online pet and service dog trainer. And this here is my dog, Jake. Jake is a 13 year old cattle dog mix, or so we thought until we took the Embark dog age test and we got some surprising results. So in this video, I'm gonna talk all about this test as well as the results we got on our rescue buddy here, Jake. So stay tuned. to start by saying that this video review is totally unbiased. I was invited to take the age test early access because of my dog's profile from doing the dog DNA breed and health test, but I paid for this test with my own money and I am not being sponsored by Embark. I'm just giving you the results that we got for this test and some thoughts I had about it. So a little bit of background on Jake so you can understand why we were a little bit confused by the test result. So when I was about 22, I bought my first very small house with the defining factor of it having a fenced in backyard so that I could adopt my first dog. And yes, you heard that right. I did not grow up with dogs. So all of you aspiring trainers out there, just know that you don't have to have grown up with a dog to be able to do your dream career. You just have to be super nerdy and unabashed about asking all of your neighbors if you can borrow their dogs and take every training opportunity that you can. So anyways, I answered an adoption ad for a cattle dog mix that needed a sport type high energy home. You know, the type of dog that definitely a first time dog owner should get. <laughs> not exactly, but more on that later. So my husband very rationally said, we are not going to go see this dog that need, has crazy energy needs when we're two young working professionals that work full time. So I called and we set up a date to go and see Jake, my poor husband. And I want to pause right here to say that if you've ever rescued a dog or volunteered at a shelter or rescue, go down below and like this video. And then in the comments, tell me all about your pup or your rescue experience. I'd love to read your stories and tell me if you'd like to do an age test on your dog. So I wouldn't be doing the Australian cattle dog breed justice if I didn't stop to mention here that most cattle dogs are not the right fit for first time dog owners or even families in general. They require a ridiculous amount of time and mental and physical exercise. I took up four different dog sports with Jake, including herding cows, which he was bred for, and he came to work with me daily to run with the other dogs. We trained every day, we hiked, we biked, we kayaked, we ran together, and I still had trouble meeting his energy needs until he turned about eight years old. And although they're gorgeous animals, they really are not the best house dog for most people. So when I talked to Shelly, the woman who took Jake off his chain and I later got to meet in person, she said that he had no food, no water, and no shelter. And she had been going to this trailer for a month to bring Jake food and water and brought him a dog house and eventually was able to convince the owner that he should give up Jake so that she could find him a better home. And thank goodness she did. Poor little dude. So at that point, the previous owner, really abuser, told Shelly that the dog was about two years old. And I wanted to make sure that both I and Shelly were remembering that correctly. So I did also go back and find his vet paperwork from that time. And that also confirmed that they had said that the dog was about two years old. So when my husband and I went to meet Jake, he was super chill and we were very surprised by that. We really didn't understand at the time, and that was very early in my career, that he was very traumatized and shut down from his experience of being neutered and then put on one of those transport trucks to get up to Connecticut, and he was just totally shut down. So we agreed to adopt him, and a week later we came to pick him up, and we watched him jump from the floor to the couch, off the wall, and back down to the floor in a giant repetitive circle. But we had agreed to adopt him, so we took him home. When we took him home, Jake was afraid of a lot of things. If we had a friend over and they even looked at him, he would run to the corner and pee. Um, you know, if he heard anything that sounded like a gunshot, he would start shaking and crawl into our lap. And he really disliked cars. So we spent a good year building his confidence through positive reinforcement training, as well as meeting his exercise needs on a daily basis. Trick training really helped teach Jake that he was smart and that no one was ever going to hurt him. Being told yes and that he was doing it right also helped him overcome a lot of his concerns about the new world he was living in. We also spent a lot of time exercising together. 
hiking, biking, and running. It was not uncommon for us to go on a several mile run together, train tricks for 20 minutes, and then bike another several miles. And for him to come home and be like, what are we doing next? And me going, we are napping, Jake, we are napping. <laughs> Fast forward a few years, and he was doing kids camps, trick shows, birthday parties, competing and herding in barn hunt, and traveling the country with me as I worked as a guide dog instructor. In November of 2020, we decided to try the Embark DNA breed and health test. And it was really cool to get to see his results of mostly cattle dogs, some Aussie, and a couple other breeds mixed in there. We also got some new health information that we could send over to our vet. But most shocking was that we found out that one of the women that I had done a rescue with who had a dog that looked so much like Jake, we found out that they were immediate relatives, which was just really cool to see. I found the Embark breed and health test so interesting that when the age test came out, I wanted to try it out and find out how old Jake was. So the age test. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend to totally understand the science behind this test, so instead I'm going to tell you exactly what Embark says about their test. We designed an algorithm that focuses on the methylation patterns that are very strongly correlated with actual age. To develop our accurate algorithm, we chose 500 plus dogs with known ages. We use that information to create an algorithm for the age test that can predict any dog's age with 98% accuracy with a range of plus or minus five months to the dog's true age. I'll link the full article in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. It also has links to the research that they cite. So once we got our test kit, we swabbed Jake up just like you would do for the DNA and breed test. And if you're unsure of how to take these tests, I'm gonna put a link down below in the descriptions on how to take the Embark test that features Jake. About two months later, our results were emailed to us and we were a little bit confused. So here's Jake's results saying his birthday was April 19th, 2011. But here's the thing, I got Jake in September of 2011. These are pictures of him from his ad at the rescuer's house right before we got him. Any way you spin it, this is not a five month old dog. So then I looked at the room for error. So the test is 98% accurate, plus or minus five months. So even if we went to the top of the margin for error, that puts him at a 10 months at the time that we got him. And then we're getting into the ballpark of maybe? But that would also go against what the person he was rescued from said. Now that's definitely possible, but Jake behaved, looked like, and acted like a fully grown dog, and his appearance, size, and weight didn't change between when we got him and a year later, or even five years later. Now it is possible that Jake was 10-ish months when we got him, but typically teenage dogs tend to be kind of lanky and thin and then grow and, and bulk up a little bit as they grow into their adult years. That being said, a dog's appearance is not a good judge of anything. Most people would not believe that Jake in his current state is somewhere between 12 and 13 years old. So I called him Bark and asked if we could go over the results. I wanted to know if there was any room for error in the testing method or if potentially with the methylation because Jake looked so good for his age, if it could throw off the results of the test. They were very nice and responsive and actually agreed to talk to me over the phone. They also had the scientist review his results again just to make sure they felt that the results were accurate. Here's the final email that I got from Embark. Thank you for your patience. Our science team did review Jake's age test results and confirm them. As our age test is relatively new, we are still actively researching the impact of a dog's health and background on healthy aging, and these factors may affect our estimates. That being said, our science team does not believe that good health would impact the results. Although our research is ongoing, our models are trained on thousands of dogs across hundreds of breeds and mixed breeds of various ages. We have found that this model, which includes dogs from a range of backgrounds and health factors, is able to estimate your dog's age within plus or minus five months with an accuracy of 98%. I hope this clarifies the results. Please let me know if you have any questions. So what's my review of this test? <laughs> I'm not sure, honestly. I could see how it would be really useful for those people out there that have no idea how old their dog is, especially in that middle portion of life where it's very difficult to tell how old the dog is just based on looking at them. It would be super helpful for that. And if this you know, test is accurate and Jake is younger than we thought he was, then yay! <laughs> that means we get a longer time to enjoy him and he'll have a longer lifespan than we thought. And we kind of want you to live forever, huh, dude? Can I get a high five? Oh yeah! All right, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Hit the little bell button so you get notified anytime we put out a new video. And if you have comments or questions, be sure to put them down below. 
Also, if you need help training your dog, check out the Doggy You community at patreon.com slash doggy you. Over there, we do a monthly live stream where you can ask me questions, as well as I put up tons of bonus videos and content to help you train your dog. Y'all have an awesome day and happy training. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video. Subscribe now and never miss an episode.